Hi and welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. My name is Eric and today's tutorial we're going to be working on an HP Compact laptop computer. The exact model of the laptop is right here. I'm going to show you guys where to identify that. On this computer it's in the top right of the screen. This is on the bezel and it is Compact Compact NC6400. So, in this tutorial I'm going to show you all how to identify where the hard drive is located and how to either upgrade or replace the hard drive on this laptop computer. I want to remind you guys before you work on any laptop computer you want to make sure that it's not plugged into the power source which is right here. I'll just pass that, throw that aside. Um, and also you want to make sure that the battery is in fact removed. So here's the battery. We're going to put this aside. And also what I do just for uh, to make sure that there's no juice left inside the system, I'm going to press and hold the power button right here. And you want to hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds. I've already drained the, the battery from this system, but I'm just showing you guys as part of this tutorial so you know to do this before you work on the computer. You, you don't want to mess anything up. Um, battery's drained, computer's ready to be worked on. Okay, so in my previous tutorial I showed you guys where the RAM is located. That's right here you can browse our videos and actually find that tutorial it's pretty simple to access that but in this tutorial I'm showing you guys how to remove and or upgrade the hard drive and the hard drive component is located right here now I'm going to try and block this out because there's a Windows COA sticker there but here's the hard drive component very easily very easy to remove Now, how do we remove the hard drive from this computer well it looks like there's only two screws, one and two. So I'm going to unscrew both of these screws, take out my iSesimo, and there you go. Plate apparently flies right off. Uh, the screws are built right into the plate. They're not going to come off, so I'm just going to put that plate aside. I see this is our hard drive and the enclosure that it's in there is one more screw I need to remove to physically remove the drive from the computer. There you have it. It has some instructions on the actual drive, how to slide the drive out. There's a little tab right here. This tab is what we're going to use as leverage to slide out the drive. Because this is a SATA drive, it slid into the SATA port right here so I'm using this little tab you all probably can't see it but it's on the drive if you don't have the tab you can simply just slide it out using a, a pry tool or something but the drive just slides right out once the drive is uh, slid out you'll actually see the drive easily come out like so how easy is that so if you wanted to replace and or upgrade this drive you would this is the actual drive you're going to be replacing. Now it's, remember, left in this little plate enclosure, so you're going to want to remove it from the plate enclosure. And in the video, I will show you guys how to do that, make this easy. Let's use my fancy screwdriver here. Okay, we have one, two, three, and four screws to remove. The drive should come right out from the enclosure. There it is. Very simple. So once you have your replacement drive, you're going to install it back into the enclosure. You're going to get all these screws, or these four screws, put right back into the drive, putting it right, putting it in there, just like so. And I have maybe two more screws left. So that's basically it. Once you've replaced and or upgraded the hard drive, um, I mean obviously your hard disk is what stores your operating system and all your data. So um, if you do replace and or remove the the hard drive, you do know that you're going to have to wipe, I'm sorry not wipe, you're going to have to reload the operating system and transfer any data from the old drive to the new one. And if you have any of um, those disks or maybe even a Windows disk that came with your computer, it's pretty simple. It's not that difficult. And if you guys have any questions or concerns, just ask us. We'd be more than happy to help you out. I'm trying to keep my head out of the camera here. 
this camera sits so it's right above the entire desk so I want to make sure I'm not blocking the view for you guys but it's it's really that simple and we're already done I'm gonna put the battery back in here and there you have it in this video I've shown you all how to successfully identify the hard drive compartment of the computer which is right here how to uninstall the hard drive reinstall the hard drive um, properly place the drive back into the computer putting all screws and plates and enclosures back in there uh, and really it's that simple if you guys have any questions or concerns please leave them in the comment section of youtube.com forward slash IT conflict come say hi to us on Facebook that's facebook.com forward slash IT conflict and follow us on Twitter that's twitter.com forward slash IT conflict we're also trying to get some attention to our blog. You can check out our blog at www.itconflict.com forward slash blog. Uh, we have some tech tips, tutorials on there as well. And if you guys have any questions or concerns, again, please leave them in the comments section. We'll be more than happy to help you all out. Again, my name is Eric with IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. Thanks again for watching another one of our videos. Please remember to like, subscribe, and follow us, and anything else on any one of the social networking websites. Thanks again. Bye.